Hello everybody, let's call this little video here an alias and why do I want to use it? First of all, let's um, let's set up a scenario. I'm looking for a file. I, I know where it is, but uh, I'm going to have to go get it. So I'm going to go up here to my hard drive, MMP's MacBook Pro. I'm going to double click to open it up and this opens a finder. Of course, I could have done it down here with the finder as well. Uh, I know that what I'm looking for is in my user directory, so I'm going to go to users, I'm going to click, and the directory I'm looking for is MMP, so I'm going to click on it. In here I'm looking for documents, so I'm going to click, and I have a folder. I'm looking folders up here and I'm saying, oh, home office expenses. Notice it's dot, 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 called ellipsis, indicating there's not enough room here to, to show it. But if I point at it long enough, you'll see the name will pop up there. It says home office, office expenses. So I'm going to click on it and it shows me two files. Now, first of all, in this case, it's home O and I'm not too sure which one I, I really want. So I'm going to widen this column so I can see it a little bit easier. To do that, I'm going to go down here to what's called right size, that, those double, that double uh, set of vertical lines, and I'm going to click on it. Double click, actually. Whoops. And there we go. And it opens up the column to the right size, uh, hence the name, to display the maximum um, widest file name uh, there and I see I have two of them and I'm not too sure which I want so I'm gonna click on this first one and there's a little teeny preview over here which I can't tell I can't tell much about it so I'm just gonna hit the spacebar and the spacebar opens up an automatic preview and I see this is a Microsoft Word document and I look at the content and say okay that's not really the one I want so I'm gonna hit the spacebar again and it minimizes it or, or closes it actually this is a feature that the Mac OS has in it that I don't have to actually open the document to see the content and now I'm gonna point at the the top one click once I see over here that it's an XLS which means it's a spreadsheet but I still want to look at it so I hit the space bar it opens it up I look at the file and say yep that's the one I want so I'm gonna close I'm going to hit the space bar again and close it now my problem here is the fact that I had to go through a number of folders to finally find the file that I'm looking for and that's the whole idea of an alias an alias is some is an icon that you can place anywhere to point to a another icon. So uh, let me and that's kind of kind of ambiguous. So let me show you what I'm talking about. First of all, I'm going to select the file that I'm looking for, and there are several ways to do this. I'm going to go up to the file menu. I'm going to come down to make alias and notice the keyboard short hit cut here is Command L. But since I'm already in the in the menu, I'm going to release and now I have two files I have my original one home office expenses 2009 XLS and the same file name with the word alias appended to it now I'm gonna take these two files and I'm gonna drag them both to my desktop and I'll show you why in just a moment first time I'm got the first one selected I'm gonna hold down the shift key click the second one that allows me to select more than one file and then I'm gonna click and drag to the desktop you can see a little ghost image there I'll move it around I'm gonna release it and I'm going to minimize for the moment this folder it dry, drop down on my dock and here are the two files you've got home home office expenses 2009 the original file and the second one that has the alias which has a little arrow down here in the corner and notice this color color change up here on, the, on what would ordinarily be the title bar of the document that's those are two tips as well as the name itself that this is an alias it's not the original file now I'm gonna open the original file it's on my desktop double click on it it launches Excel and after Excel launches, there is my file. Notice it says Home Office Expenses Virtual Campus in my office. And now I'm going to close that file. I'm going to go, first I'll click so that you can tell that nothing is selected. I'm going to go here to my uh, alias. I'm going to double click. And there it is Home Office Expenses Virtual Campus. It's the same file. Now let me close that. I'm going to take this original file, I'm going to put it back where it came from. So I'm going to go ahead and open my folder back up. I'm going to take this file, put it back where it came from, close it up, 
Now you know I'm not pointing at the original, I'm pointing at the shortcut or alias. So I'm going to double click on it. There it is. There's the file. Now I'm going to make a change. I'm going to put over I'm going to click over here and I'm going to say this is the change. Hit the enter key. I'm going to save that and now I'm going to close it up. Now the question is, did I originally did I really change the original file or did I just change this? I'm going to open up there's the alias with the with the text in it. I'm going to close it. I'm going to go back to it and open my original file. I'll go back to where it was located. Users, MMP, documents, home office expenses. Let me widen that. And there's my original file. I'm going to double click on it. There's the content. This is the this is the change. The alias points to the original file without being the original file. I'm going to close it up. This just says open the file, home office expenses, and it's not the actual home office expenses. Now, why is that good? Well, first of all, let's let's minimize that folder again. This document I can uh, I can place any place I want. So here I'm gonna leave it on my desktop. That means I don't have to go up here and go through the, the rigmarole of trying to find out where it's located. So I can put it on the desktop and not have to go to my actual folder I've designated as the proper place to store the document. And here's another one. If I take and dump this in the trash, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna open my trash. I'm gonna empty my trash. You sure you wanna do this? Yeah, let's, um, let's do it. And now, uh-oh, it's gone. Well, no problem. I'm going to go back to where it's located. Users, MMP, Documents, Home Office. There's the file. And if I open it, it has the content because the, the alias just pointed to where this is located. It told the computer, go to this location pick up this particular file without actually play um, open without excuse me without having to put the file itself on the desktop so uh, I hope that makes some sense put the file keep the file where you want it but you can put an alias so you can get to it in a hurry without having to worry about it hope that's a help talk to you guys later see you bye